Okay, um, hello, it's Jared Summer Entertainment, and, um, we are going to be, um, um, I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail. Um, it's a website called Pixlr, I'll put the link in the description. Um, yeah, it's a, and you can do it for free. I'm doing this because somebody asked me, so, um, to do it, so yeah. So the width has to be 1,280, the height has to be 720, and make it transparent and then you can name it anything i'll just name it uh stuff i guess um and yeah so first what you're gonna want is a background so getting a background you could either use this and then click here and then there's a selection you can use any of these um so here say i wanted this one um i could do that yeah, that could be my background, and I could make it like that or anything, like, by moving this. Or what I could do is I could go online, Google Images, and then, wait one second, um, and then search up a background, like, say, um, yellow background. Um, I forgot, it has to be PNG, okay? PNG. So it has to be a PNG image, or else it's not working. Um, so, sorry, um, so, um, say I wanted this one, I guess. Um, no, it's not big enough. See this, like, when I'm, what my mouse is on right now? It has to be a bigger size than that, so here. Um, yeah, it has to be, um bigger than um, 1,280 and 720, it has to be larger, like, that's how much the width of the picture is, so yeah, this is good enough, so I could go there, here, save image as, and then you have to make sure it's a PNG, so it says PNG, so I'd save it, um, you might have not seen that, I don't know if you did, then cool, but I don't know if you did, then you go file, open image, then click the file, open and then this is an important part you gotta run like this so control a to select all control c to copy the image then click onto the white stuff and then control v to paste it all so um i don't really like this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go there so um yeah um say i was making um um, just a thumbnail for this video, so, um, here, I'm gonna add text, um, how, this is actually gonna be the thumbnail, so how to make a thumbnail for free on Pixlr, so, um, and then exclamation point to make it, you know, cool. And um, I'm going to make the size big, okay, and then how you move it is you go here, click this tool, and then yeah, you can move it anywhere, so put it down here, and then, um, you know, um, you could keep getting pictures from here and keep doing that, um, but, um, you know, just going here, um, go here, save image as, and then, yes, yeah, save it, but it has to be a PNG, remember? Um, remember that, but um, I already have um, a Pixlr logo image in my files, so just remember to do that. Um, search up the image, um, and then it has to be PNG, and then, yeah, so search up PNG images of what you want, whatever you want, and then save image as, and then it'll be in your files. So um, remember, Control A, Control C, and then click on the screen, Control V. And then you can move it wherever you want with this. I'll put it right there. And then, um, maybe I'll change the color of the text. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the text. Wait one second. Oh, wait. My bad. Um, yeah, I'll put it up there. And I'm going to change the color. Oh my gosh, wait one second. Sorry, technical difficulties. Gotta move it up here for a second. 
Oh my gosh. Here, I'm gonna move it up all the way up here. I don't get why. Why is it. Okay, what? Why is it like that? This is so weird. Um. Uh, this is awkward. Um. Well. Well then, um. I'm not sure why it's like this. Why is it? Oh my god. What's happening? Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry for the technical difficulties. So, um, colors, um, yeah, you can change the color just by clicking color. I'll make it blue. Okay. Um, um, what you can do is click here. And then you can choose like drop shadow, inner shadow, bevel, outer glow, inner glow. So I'm going to go ahead and choose inner shadow or wait, let me see how it is with drop shadow. Yeah? One second. What? Yeah? Sorry for that, I'll try to cut that out, um, but so, um, yeah, you can do that, and then you can click, um, I'm gonna make this bold, and then, yeah, as I was saying, um, you can do, like, a drop shadow, inner shadow, so I think I might do a drop shadow, it makes it look cool, and then, okay, and I'm gonna move this, actually, yeah, I'm gonna move it back down under here, um, and then, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add, you know, you can copy it, but I already have this in my files, I'm gonna go ahead and add some wow emojis. <laughs> and oh, yeah, you can see this is a bit big, so I'm gonna change the image size to 200. Yeah, I think that would be good. Um, okay, and then remember um, Control A, Control C, click on the screen, Control V, and then it'll come up. It's under there. Wait, okay. I'll put one here and then I'll put one on the other side. Um, but yeah, guys, that's basically it. Um, I need to tell you one more thing after I do this. Sorry, I'm so, uh, wait, I just gotta, um, okay, okay, so, um, so, after you're done your thumbnail, what you're gonna want to do is file, save and then you gotta make it a png image right here and then here wait first i'm gonna okay you can hire the quality all you want like a hundred if you want and make it png image and then click okay and then just click save and you save the image you save the file so um that's basically it and then what you're gonna do is go on youtube Go to Creator Studios, and then, um, yeah, and then you go to Creator Studios, and then, uh, what was I going to say, um, and then you go to the video that you want, and then click Edit, and then put the thumbnail, and then it'll say, like, Custom Thumbnail, click that, it'll go to your files, and then click this file that you just made, so, um, peace, like, and subscribe, bro.